I've got some good news for you. If you are a person that says, I don't like to sell, I don't like people pushing something on me and being, you know, the obnoxious salesperson. Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and I am known for helping people in a particular area that is important called marketing, but a particular kind of it relationship marketing. Relationship marketing is really the opposite of that obnoxious salesperson. You know who I'm talking about. The person who's out there just always talking about themselves, trying to push something on you and you go, oh, I don't want that. And it's just icky. You know, sometimes there's people out there on the net that are trying to sell things and you just go, Ugh, I'd rather not hang around that person. But here's a way to get around that and to really help. I really think that this is a key. My friend Jay Bear talks about it often. He says that today helping is the new selling. So when you help someone, you're able to do it better. And that's really what relationship marketing is all about. Relationship marketing gives you the ability to say, okay, I wanna work with this person here and I wanna help them. And in a way, it's very much like what I remember growing up in the Midwest in farm country. Yeah, I grew up in the Midwest, way out in the country in Michigan, and we had farms all around us. We did not live on a farm, but we had gardens and uh, there were a lot of friends of ours that were farmers. And I got a chance to see what it's like. And I think relationship marketing and farming, very similar. Matter of fact, I even often call it relationship farming. Because when you think about it, when you get started, you're looking at the territory. You've got to start by examining what's there, the soil, the climate, et cetera. What works in one place, not going to work somewhere else. Hey, I'm in Orlando, Florida now. We have different kinds of climate here than in Michigan and different kinds of soil. What's particularly good here would be citrus, but not up there in Michigan. No, it didn't grow. You don't see a lot of orange trees. You don't see a lot of grapefruit trees in Michigan. You see apples. Yeah, those are really good. We've got a few uh, in different places, but you don't think of apples so much for Florida. But you want to make sure you study the environment, but then also study the environment for what people are looking for. A farmer who's making money from selling agricultural products needs to know, do we produce and grow this kind of crop? or more of this kind of crop. If they have something that there's so much that there's excess amounts, they're not gonna get as much money for it. You wanna be able to be in those areas where there's a high demand. Once you've selected that and done the study, then you gotta prepare the soil. You gotta get out there and make sure that people know uh, what's going on in business. You prepare the soil. You don't just run out and start selling something immediately. What you wanna do is gradually build into that, preparing and taking the steps that are necessary. Also in farming, once you get the crop going and it's been there, you want to make sure that the soil is right and that you have the right kind of nutrients, sunshine and water. You need the right amount, too little or too much of either one and you're in trouble. So it's the same thing in marketing and business. You want the right kind of information you're sending out on social media. That's really, really important. And you want to make sure that you put this out into a way that is going to be received by people very favorably. So I think those are the kind of things you want to look for. And then harvest comes. And when harvest is there, that's what we're looking forward to. That's the time when you are out there in business that you're making the sales. You're serving and following up with them. In farming, you'd look at the harvest. That's where you're putting in a lot of work. Remember kids back at school, they would have to take off time from school during harvest time sometimes to help with doing the chores and being able to take care of things there. And so there's a lot that's there. But by the way, there's another important element too. And that is when you finally got harvest done, it's over. You take your best seed corn and you put that back into the storehouse for planting next year. In business, never finish it. Always stay there serving and helping people. That's going to be the key. And as you practice those principles, you'll do much better. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Leave me a comment here and let me know what you think on it and uh, what you see as some ways to build relationship marketing and how that works best for you. I'll look forward to hearing from you. I'm Terry Brock at terrybrock.com. Hope you have a great day.